My name is Catherine Lees and I'm a senior associate here at Clark Hemmerling Lawyers. It is always best for everyone when a separated couple can agree privately and amicably to divide their assets. So why go to a lawyer when you have agreement? With the current cost of living pressures, investing in a legal settlement may seem like a luxury spend, but I will take you through why it's a great investment for your future. It's great you've reached agreement, but how do you know if it's fair? What you and your ex-spouse think is fair may not be considered fair under the current case law and under the Family Law Act. There are many factors that impact the fairness of an agreement, and an hour appointment with an expert family lawyer can enlighten you about those things. A 50-50 split may be fair in some cases, but no two situations are the same. Your family lawyer will be able to take you through how different factors impact the percentage division. Financial contributions such as income earned and assets brought into the relationship may be offset against considerations such as poor health and low income earning capacity. Under our current laws, the aim is for spouses to be in an equal position to rebuild their life after separation, which can mean an unequal division of the assets. Legally formalising your agreement will mean that neither of you can come back for more. That is, there is no second bite of the cherry. Only in exceptional circumstances can a legally binding property settlement be overturned. So once it's done, it's done for good. After separation, life doesn't stand still. And if you repartner and decide to live together, a legally binding property settlement with your ex-spouse will give you a clear path ahead to rebuild your life together with your new spouse without fear of some further claim against your property. If you haven't legally formalised your property settlement with your ex-spouse and you die, then they may have a claim on your estate. Even though there was an informal private property settlement, if it wasn't fair at the time, then by the time you die, it could seem even less fair. Therefore, you might have done a will, but you didn't have a legally formalised property settlement with your ex-spouse, then your estate may not end up with the beneficiaries you intended to. There are two ways to legally formalise a property settlement. Both will cost about the same in legal fees and each have their benefits. An application can be filed in the Federal Circuit and Family Court of Australia, asking the court to approve your agreement. There are two documents to be prepared, signed and filed, the application for consent orders and a proposed minute of order. A registrar of the court considers the application to ensure it complies with the rules and considers the proposed order to ensure it is fair under the Family Law Act. Only if the proposed order is fair in all the circumstances can the registrar approve the proposed order. The whole process from taking instructions to the order being made can take some months and depends on how quickly each party and their solicitors contribute to the drafting of the documents. On filing with the court, a registrar can take between two and six weeks to consider and approve the order. In exceptional circumstances, it may be done faster. The Family Law Act also allows a property settlement by way of a binding financial agreement, or BFA. A BFA can be a faster way to record your property settlement, but it is not approved by the court. In fact, a BFA specifically excludes the jurisdiction of the court. That is, by signing a BFA, parties are saying that they don't care about the fairness considerations of the Family Law Act and the case law. They are saying that they have considered their own circumstances and they want to legally record their agreement, whether it is, it is fair under the law or not. BFAs are often used when there is some element of unfairness and it's likely the court won't approve it. But an unfair legally binding property settlement is better than no legally binding settlement at all. At Clark Hemmerling Lawyers, we can provide practical and clear advice about the settlement options and your particular circumstances. Yes, it will cost you some money, but it may save you a lot more in the long run.